the truth behind Khloe Kardashian's difficult journey to motherhood. Hot on the heels of the news of little sister Kylie Jenner's rumored pregnancy by Bo Travis Scott, sources confirmed to people that Khloe Kardashian and boyfriend Tristan Thompson, to whom she'd been linked for about a year, are expecting their first child together. Yes, Khloe and Tristan are expecting and they are absolutely thrilled, the source said. The baby has been a long and tough time coming for Chloe. She kept the news quiet for as long as she could. Chloe and Thompson would have announced her pregnancy sooner, but Jenner's baby news got in the way. This isn't something they were in a rush to announce to the whole world, and it's only been in just the past week or so that they've felt comfortable telling most of their inner circle, the source told People. Things were complicated a bit by Kylie's announcement as they don't want to be seen as intruding on that moment for her. But it is now reaching the point where Chloe doesn't want to be openly lying to people, and just staying quiet isn't going to work anymore. The source added, they are looking at it like a unifying experience for them as sisters. Getting pregnant at the same time was totally unplanned but they are really happy about it. Thus Weekly reported that both Jenner and Chloe are about four months along. She underwent fertility treatments in her first marriage. Chloe was eager to become a mom during her marriage to Lamar Autumn and admitted that she'd been using fertility treatments in an effort to conceive with the troubled NBA star since they first tied the knot in 2009. She revealed in a February 2013 episode of Courtney and Kim Take Miami via E! News, about a year ago, we were like, let's just see what happens. And then when it didn't happen, Kim was like, let's go to the doctor, Chloe recalled. I found out I don't ovulate, she said. My uterus lining isn't thick enough and I have to take pills to make my uterus lining thicker. If that doesn't get thicker, then I cannot carry a baby. And I be at treatments. In a March episode of Cocktails with Chloe, the reality starlet revealed she'd undergone in vitro fertilization treatments in efforts to conceive a baby with Autumn to try salvaging their struggling marriage. At the time, I was like, oh, I have to have a baby. She recalled via Entertainment Tonight. That's all I wanted at the time, and I thought it would maybe fix the situation with Autumn, so I'm also happy it didn't happen because I was young. I was 27, and I thought, a baby will fix this, and it's not going to fix that. She learned a lot through her struggle. Pages see she shared them with the world anyway. Do I wish people would quit asking me about it 24 to 7? Yes, but I don't regret it, she said. I was 26 when that started and I admit, I didn't know a lot about my body. It was hard for me to understand what was happening because my mom had six kids and Courtney got pregnant quickly. People assume I'm desperate for a baby. And yes, I would love to have a baby. But I'm 28, and I've been married three and a half years. I love my life, but it doesn't feel incomplete right now. She added, it's more about my hormones being off, I was taking hormone shots to stabilize them and you have to take those shots consistently and they have to be done by a doctor. You can do them yourself, but I could be an... And then after your cycle, you have to go to the doctor for ultrasounds and more testing. And if I'm in Miami and miss a treatment, I have to start all over again. It's a commitment, and I don't mind doing it, but the timing was just off. Courtney offered to be a surrogate for her. In a March 2013 episode of Courtney and Kim Take Miami, Scott Disick was sympathetic to Chloe's ply and spoke to Courtney about potentially being a surrogate for Chloe and Autumn if they wanted. I was just hanging with Chloe and you know, I want her to be happy, and I feel like she wants a kid so bad, Disick said, adding that he regretted telling Courtney she was crazy for offering surrogacy. I still think it's a huge decision, but I understand how you'd want to do that for your family. I think you should go talk to her, he said. It's a conversation to have. Courtney noted in the confessional, now that I know I'm a good candidate, and that Scott is supportive, I will be the oven for her bun if she shall need it. Courtney then spoke to Chloe, telling her that she overheard Chloe speaking to friends about her fertility struggles, closing with, I just wanted to say that if you did need someone to carry your child that I would volunteer my services. I would do that for you, I'm being serious. I would. I called the doctor, I got all the info. I don't even know how Lamar would feel about it. I don't think it's the number one option, but if it gets to be the only option I'll do it. Chloe wasn't sure how to take it at first, 
calling the conversation awkward and getting a bit graphic in her description of Courtney's potential childbirth. They ultimately never went through with the plan. Kids were part of why she and Lamar Autumn divorced. In May 2016, TMZ reported that Chloe filed for divorce from Autumn because she wanted to have kids someday and was concerned that her own biological clock was ticking. It was one of the main triggers for the split, despite rumors of a reconciliation after Autumn's nearly fell overdose at a brothel in October 2015. Chloe said as much in the June 2016 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians via E! News, and filmed before her May 2016 refiling. I love Lamar with all of my heart and I want the best for him, but now I feel I'm back to it being the hardest thing to do, she said. I want to have kids and maybe to be remarried one day. I need to move on, and I will be filing for divorce very soon. She changed her mind about treatments. In a June 2017 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians via E! News, Chloe admitted to her doctor that she fake tried to conceive during her marriage to Autumn. I was married, but I knew the circumstances weren't the healthiest, so, I just kept pretending I was doing it, she confessed. In her confessional, she added, when I was doing my fertility treatments, they were more so for Lamar. I had to stop because there was much deeper stuff that was happening in our marriage. I knew that it wasn't the right situation to bring a child into, and I think I've done a lot of covering up for him, like even when it made me look like I was the problem. But I was fine taking on that burden on my shoulders because he had a lot of other deeper s asterisk asterisk t to deal with. The deeper stuff likely refers to Autumn's struggles with substance abuse and infidelity, which led to the end of the couple's marriage. She filed for divorce for the first time in December 2013. She battled false pregnancy rumors for a long time. Chloe suffered a ton of scrutiny over her weight through the years, which contributed to a lot of false pregnancy rumors about her during her previous relationships. I feel like I've been pregnant for six years, she griped to people in 2014. I used to get offended, like, do I look fat today? Or why are they saying that? But they just say it. Before I was like, do I have a baby bump? Is my belly sticking out? But no. I mean, one day the rumor will be true, I hope, but who knows? Until then, it is what it is. She and Tristan Thompson were eager to breed early on. Chloe first started dating Thompson in September 2016. By April 2017, she dished to ES Magazine that she'd accept if Thompson, who fathered a child in December 2016 with ex Jordan Crate from whom he split before dating Chloe proposed to her and wanted kids, but that there was no rush to do it. I would love to have a family. We've talked about it, she said. He already is a father, and I know for a fact that he would be an impeccable father. I definitely want to be a mom. But I don't put the pressure on it. It's not like the clock is ticking. I feel in my soul it will happen. By June 2017, she revealed on Keeping Up With The Kardashians via E! News, Tristan and I definitely talk about starting the family. He wants to have about five or six kids with me and that's lovely. We could start at one and we could grow from there. In the August issue of You Magazine via the Daily Mail she explained, We're still in the new relationship and I love us having time together. Once you have kids you can't get back your non-kid years. You worry about your children for the rest of your life. The concern I have is raising little human beings in a world that's filled with such hate and terror. That seems very scary. She went off the pill. In a June 2017 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians via People Chloe announced that she was no longer using birth control. She revealed, I'm not on birth control is scary. It's like a really big step. She also noted that she'd undergone enough testing to know she could conceive. I am so relieved to know that I am able to get pregnant. Now I have so many other things to think about. Do I want to have my own baby now? I don't know. I'm at a crossroads. She felt Tristan Thompson was the only possible baby daddy for her. This is something Chloe has wanted for years and years, and yet it's more than that, she didn't want it unless she was in the right relationship for it, the source told people. She never let it happen with Lamar, intentionally, and she never considered it with James or French or anyone else she has seen. But this is such a wonderful moment for her, not only is she going to be a mother, she is going to be raising a child with a man she truly loves. Everyone is over the moon for them both.